Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you my ultimate kayak trailer. So I wanted to share this with you guys because just about everywhere I go, a ton of people are always asking questions about it. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd show you, you know, exactly what I did, uh, how I built this, and uh, what's so cool about it and why it makes, uh, you know, taking the kayaks out a, a heck of a lot easier. So, um, the, the two kayaks that I have on here are a, uh, a 2019 Hobie Outback as well as a 2017 Hobie Sport. Um, this trailer could honestly handle a lot more, uh, but it's built the way that it is for a couple of specific reasons. Um, so I'll, I'll start from the base. I started with a uh, Loadrite jet ski trailer, very basic. Um, Specifically, I got the 1200 pound model. Uh, I made sure to find one that had a, uh, a wheel on the front of it uh, so that I could jack up the trailer when I needed to. And um, and a winch, of course, too. You know, the winch is always very useful um, for securing the bow of the kayak. The sport is pretty short, so I'm not too worried about securing the bow um, and having it uh, twist and turn on me while I'm towing at high speeds. Um, so I started with that, and then uh, the first addition to it was adding on this big and beefy box frame to it. Uh, so I've got a buddy of mine that's a welder, and he was able to build that for me. Um, and I gave him some pretty specific dimensions that made it way wider than it needs to be for these kayaks, but I also have a small single-handed sailboat, and it is just wide enough that I can take my sailboat and load it up inside of here and the dolly that the sailboat is on the wheels of that dolly sit right into this tray here and the, the same tray on the other side so that allows me to use this trailer for a couple of purposes not just the kayaks all the time going on from there once i added the box rack onto it i got to get real creative on my own and see what i could come up with um so First of all, I extended the brackets for the uh, the trailer bunks, but still used the original trailer bunks that came on the trailer um, because they actually are able to cradle this kayak just about right, um, given the proper brackets for it, so that you know there's plenty of support for it. I don't have to worry about deforming the hull or anything like that. Uh, and I believe that just about you know you could do that with just about any kayak. Uh, you just want to make sure that you give it enough support so that you're uh, not deforming the hull in any way at all um, as anybody knows with these larger fishing kayaks are pretty heavy so you, you have to worry about how you store them so you don't get any flat spots so the next thing that i went for um actually gets away from this box rack that still has a, a bunch more to talk about on it but i uh you know i'm, I'm big on safety and I, i'm always worried about getting stuck somewhere so uh, the next thing that I did was I went out and got myself a spare tire um, so that just in case I got a flat, I knew that I'd be okay, I'd be able to get back on the road. Um, but one neat thing about this spare tire is that it is not only mounted in such a way that if the trailer were to fall, the tire would actually hit the ground first and it wouldn't damage the trailer at all. Um, but this is a spare tire with a whole um whole hub assembly so if i were to uh to blow a hub going down the road and the bearings freezed up i could you know i need some a pretty big wrench but i could take out this cotter pin here take off this crown nut and then swap out the entire hub and get back going it wouldn't ruin the whole day Another key feature on the trailer that I wanted to talk about here is the torsion axle. So instead of having a traditional axle down here with a leaf spring, it actually has a spring inside of this arm here, which I'll see if I can get in a position to show you guys. So what happens is that arm, when the trailer hits a bump, swings upwards and it actually absorbs shock a lot better than a leaf spring does which translates less uh, shock back up into the kayaks or any other gear that I've got attached to this. Alright now getting into the features that make this a little bit different from your normal kayak trailer here. 
Um, so I added on to this rod tube on the driver's side. So this is just a eight inch round piece of PVC tubing um, along with a conduit carrier kit that's made to slide right over the top of this. It's got a neoprene seal here to keep the water out. I threw a lock on top of it so that this doesn't fly open on the highway and drop everything out the back of it so it's extra secure and I don't have to worry about keeping it locked up if I have to stop at the store or run inside somewhere. Uh, I bolted this straight onto the trailer just with the, the mounting kit that came with it. Bolted on beautifully. Um, and this is started as a 10 foot tube. I cut it down to 8 feet uh, because actually I went a little bit longer than 8 feet. Uh, just because the longest rod that I have is 8 feet long and with a little bit of extra length in there I can stagger the rods a little bit so that the reels aren't all bunched together and it allows me to fit a lot more in there. One of the key things about putting this together is putting a big piece of foam at the front of this too so that your rod tips aren't hitting right up against this aluminum. Instead they're hitting into a, uh, a nice piece of foam that I cut out to fit the size of the pipe. On top of that I added uh, some saddles up top so that I can mount my second kayak on here. So these are the Yakima Big Cat uh, kayak saddles and they are way overkill for this particular kayak because this isn't very heavy. But if I wanted to, I could easily toss something as large as a Pro Angler or some of Old Town's larger kayaks up here without a problem. Um, there's plenty of, plenty of width because the kayak can actually could actually sit a few more inches off the side of the trailer and has over a foot of space between the kayak itself and the next big feature here which is the roof box so i added a roof box onto here so that i could carry all of the uh, kayak equipment and fishing gear and anything else that i might have on me life jackets safety equipment stuff like that and uh, fortunately enough for me, I actually had a family member that had this just lying around. So I was able to pick it up and bolt it right on. And uh, it makes everything ni nice and easy. And then also I'm able to, again, lock it up, which is one of the, the big worries for me is, you know, if I take this somewhere, I don't want to worry about, oh, if I don't need this piece of gear, how am I going to make sure that nobody steals it? You know, I don't have to take it out and put it in my car every time so I can lock up my uh, my roof box here and not have to worry about it at all. So just real quick off camera, I opened up the roof box. It's a little bit difficult to do with one hand, um, so I figured I'd spare you from that. But uh, inside the roof box here, I've got a couple essential items, a uh, pump just in case we got to pump out any of the kayaks for any reason. Uh, both of the Mirage drives for these kayaks just laid down in here. Uh, some rope, the paddles, safety flags, my fishing crate, a couple extra uh, fishing boxes here. There's actually a disassembled um, Hobie heavy duty cart in here. Uh, my life jacket and both of the seats. And I still actually have quite a bit of space to spare in here. Let's uh, close this up. Nice and secure. So moving on. Next piece is this big old tube on the other side. So uh, a lot of people look at this and they're not really sure what's going on, uh, but I'm sure some of you might have guessed it. So this is a water tube. Um, I cut it to size to fit 15 gallons of water inside of it and uh, did a couple of things to make it real nice and easy to use. It's got a little cap on the side here, so when I need to fill it up, I can just come over here, unscrew the cap, stick the hose right in the top, and fill it up and not even have to think about it. It's also very easy to clean out if I ever need to. I can just toss in some, uh, some bleach or, or some cleaning solvents in there and be good to go. Right up here on the top of the tube is a breather valve so that when I use this piece, it actually allows the water to flow. So this is just a little three-way uh, three spigot with uh, two shutoffs on it. Um, so just plugged right into the bottom of the tube here and I can just open this and get some water straight at the bottom if I wanted to fill up a bucket or anything like that. And then this tube here, I keep open most of the time but I can shut it if I need to, runs up into this box. And inside of this box is a pump along with a hose that plugs right into the car. So I've got 
a cord that goes to just a normal 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter right in the back of the car here. And I plug into that, you know, make sure that the accessory mode is on in the car. Come back to the trailer, plug the end of the cord in right here. And this is just a normal universal uh, 12 volt plug. And then I've got um, a fuse just in case so I don't have to worry about blowing anything up. And an on off switch for the pump. Turn it on right here, and the pump is a uh, an automatic pump, so once it gets up to pressure, it will shut off on its own, and it'll kick back on once it needs more pressure. Um, so this pump here, uh, I believe, was a Johnson pump. It was a washdown kit. Um, I got off of Amazon, and it uh, is capable of pushing out 70 psi, and I think something like five gallons per minute. So it, it'll dump out this water tank pretty quickly if you're not careful. But as long as you uh, are a little bit conservative with using the spray nozzle, um, it'll actually last you quite a while. You can wash down the kayaks a couple of times with it and you're good to go. Um, this pump was a little bit tricky to get on here and uh, along with the hose as well. I actually didn't think originally I was going to fit the hose into this box. Um, but I got lucky and it just kind of was able to tuck right in there and it, it's pretty easy to get in and out of there. Um, so when I need it, I can just pop the hose out and I've got about 20 feet of hose to play with. Um, and then if I ever really need to, there's some quick disconnects here to pull out the, the filter and the hose and everything else to get in to service it if, it, if needed. And last but not least, I think one of my uh, favorite parts about this trailer setup, and this is actually a little bit specific to Hobie, is that I'm able to carry uh, one of my dollies right up in this top kayak here, just stick it right down through the scupper holes and uh, lock the dolly in so that it doesn't go flying anywhere. And, and this doesn't move around very much on its own anyway, so I, the lock is just there for security. But now it makes it nice and easy to, to transport that around. I don't have to stick in the car, especially if it gets a little bit of sand on it and I need to wash it down or anything like that. A second cart fits in here pretty easily. Um, and then this kayak, if I really needed to, I could fit a cart into either set of the scupper holes on here. And the way that this trailer is set up, it holds the kayak just high enough off the ground that I'm able to pull this out so that the scupper holes are hanging off the back of the trailer, put the dolly in, and then grab the bow and walk it the rest of the way out. So it never comes in contact with the ground. It goes straight from the trailer to a dolly and then right into the water. Uh, which is fantastic just makes things really really easy So guys, that's about it um, You know, I think it's doing just about everything that I could possibly want it to do right now But if you think that there's anything else that I could add to this, let me know um, If you got any questions about anything, let me know too. I'll be happy to answer those um, And I you know, I encourage you to go and build something for yourself uh, For me, this was a lot of fun just for the project um, unfortunately, I, I wish I, I use it more than I do, but it's uh, it was definitely fun getting to this point, and I, I hope, you know, now that we're getting to the, the end of this season, I hope that next season I'll have an opportunity to use it a lot more. Also, stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to talk to you about how this trailer is actually useful for a lot more things other than just kayaking um, and could make life a whole bunch of fun for with a lot of different possibilities in conjunction with the big roof rack on the car. Oh, and don't forget guys, one last thing. If you like this video, please like it. It helps me out a lot. If uh, you want to see more of my content, please comment and subscribe, turn on the bell, and uh, get notifications anytime I post a new video. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.